Hello, this is a short video to introduce you to Jupyter. So hopefully you have now got Anaconda Navigator installed on your computer. So if you open that up, what I'd like you to do is go to the Jupyter Lab tab and click on Launch. So Jupyter Lab should open up in your default browser. In my case, that's Mozilla Firefox, but it will work fine with Chrome and Explorer. So let's have a quick look at a traditional set of lecture notes to start off with, which is this PDF file here. Let's open that. So as expected, um, for lecture one, we've got a bit of text um, and we've got some example Python code. And if you had that in something like Spider and you ran it, um, this is the, what you'd expect the output to be. Uh, but none of that is editable um, or runnable. So this is where Jupyter comes in. So if we open the IPYNB file, which is a Jupyter notebook, we have a very different experience. So if we look at the code within a Jupyter notebook, um, this code is actually runnable. Um, so what we could do is we could, we could change this code and click on um, the run icon. So we're in a cell here. So this, this run button is basically gonna run that cell and we get a different answer out. So that's quite nice. So it means that all of the lecture material that we provide is actually runnable Python code. And it also means that you can go into that code and you can edit it and play about with it to understand better how it works. And all of the snippets within there are available to you to copy out um, and use within assignments or use within the labs. So as well as the lectures, we've also set up um, the laboratories as Jupyter Notebooks. So if you don't want to do, use Jupyter Notebooks, that's fine. We also have um, PDFs for the labs. So here's lab one as a PDF. Um, but if you're so inclined, you could open the Jupyter Notebook. And here we go. So we've got a mix of textual information and runnable code within here. So for example, if we look at the basic mathematics section of this, instead of having one plus one, I could have 15 plus 15, run that and I, and I get the answer. So hopefully that will provide quite an interactive experience for you in the labs and enable you to learn Python um, in a fun way.